Hello guys, hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to install Apache XAMPP control panel. Why are we going to do that? Because we are going to create the connectivity of Apache NetBeans 12.6 with our database that is MySQL. So for that purpose, you need to install Apache XAMPP. First thing first, you go on to the Chrome browser and just write download XAMPP. The first link will appear on the screen that is download XAMPP. You have to click over that and the website will be redirected onto the next page. Now there are some versions of XAMPP for Windows that are 8.0, 8.1, 8.2, 0.12. The last is the latest version so you have to click over the download button and just wait for a while. When you just click the download button it will start the downloading procedure of the exe file. So it will start automatically. Once the exe file downloading procedure has been started you just have to wait because it will take some time as per the internet connectivity speed so the first the internet the run it will just complete the downloading procedure as fast as it can so wait till the downloading procedure completed once the downloading exe of a process has now been completed you just have to go on to the exe file just click over there and it will start the installation steps so first is when it's just start the installation step somehow you can just show the error like that but you have to click over ok now these are the select component you just have to select all installation folder so by default it will just create the folder in c localhost directory so it is ok to go with that but if you want to change the directory location you can select that click the next button and when you just click the next button it will ask for a different languages that windows support you just have to write english setup is now ready to begin installing xam you just have to click next and it will start the installation process of xam so you just have to wait for the installation process to be completed once the installation process is completed you just have to go on to your uh, local drive where the folder has been created for XAM control panel to start the exe of XAM control panel as I have just installed in my folder so I have just gone into the XAM folder right here I have just clicked the exe that is XAM control.exe file just click over there just select the language that should be American and click save it will take some time and it will show you the panel that is on your screen it shows some how like this you just have to start some services that is apache and sql go onto your chrome and write localhost slash dashboard so the link is localhost uh, slash dashboard you have to wait and it will just redirect you onto the panel where the mysql database will appear so you just have to wait for a little while and it will restart and it will start to load the web page of 127.0.0.1 my php my admin so this is php my admin dashboard here you can create the new database with the name of test or test one so the test is already created so it is giving me an error you just have to write test one right here for the different name click the next so it will create the database now it is asking for the table name you can give the table name as login and create okay now it is loading it and it is it has created the table you just have to give the column name that should be id or password the type and value and length the length can be 10 or the password can be 10 as well but the password type should be variable character just click the save button it will just create the table so this is how easily you can create the database and table inside phpmyadmin it is one of the easiest kind of database to connect with apache netbeans 12.6 in order to create java application so i have already created the connectivity video between how can you create the netbeans ide and phpmyadmin so please follow the link that is attached in the i button and i have also given in the description hope you like this video please hit subscribe button and stay tuned